What is up, crawler fans, RC enthusiasts, and social media surfers? I'm your boy Josh with Texoma RC, and that is a box stock V1 JLU. We are gonna see how far we can make it. Oh, not very far, dude. Let's go. Let's go, guy. But we're just gonna try to see if there's anything on here that we can do. Oh, let's go. Oh my God. Wow. Nice jump, guy. Oh my gosh. One more time. One more time, guy. Holy smugs, dude. F controller. <laughs> no control, dude. Zero. Come on, guy. Whoa, whoa. We made it a little farther. Whoa, whoa. Dude, F that line. What about this one, dude? We go up the easy line? Ah, oh, we on the easy line. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we rocking. We rocking, dude. We go up over this. Dude, look at it. Look at him go, bro. So this is my buddy, Michael. You see him in the videos. He has the blue C10. Ooh, look at it, dude. Doing awesome. I think we're screwed. Pretty much. That's the end of the line. Ooh, self right, dude. Bonus points. Can we go straight? Oh. Dude, let's go. Freaking jewel you. How do you even pronounce J-L-U? I don't even know. So weird. Dude, we're getting what? Okay, so I think you get the point. Uh, we're not gonna go there. We're not gonna go there. Let's go right here. Wow, look at it. Oh, <laughs> uh, you. Come on, Julio. Oh, dude, got the self right on lockdown, bro. Ooh, do you see that? Wow. Dude. All right, so check it out, man. <clears throat> we are going to see what we can do and take this car. We are going to mod it. We are going to add, not even prepared. Dude, we got a little bit of goodies. We got some wheel weights. Uh, I may or may not use these shocks. I feel like they're trash. I don't like them. Uh, so I think we may just go with wheel weights and maybe uh, these hex extensions uh, to start off. Everything else will just be Texoma style mods, man. Uh, some of them are the mods that everybody knows and some of them may be my own. So here we go, let's go, let's break, let's get into it and uh, see what we can do, bro. So check it out, dude. First thing we're gonna do. Ow, mother. Let's unplug this. First thing we're gonna do, pop this guy off. Oh yeah, we gotta unplug these things. Unplug this stuff, guy. Got it, nailed it. Okay, we'll get this cleaned up. Leave it alone, we'll get it cleaned up in a minute. Okay, so we got that done. So we're gonna need to poke holes right here. One second. You most certainly can use a drill bit if you have one so small. Uh, but if you have something sharp like this pick, dental pick, uh, great tool to have. Go ahead and heat this sucker up. We need a hole right about there. Oh, go right there. 
right there dude boom we need another hole right about oh cooled down too much light it up dude here we go check it out another hole right about there boom so now we're going to take this screw out and I'm not gonna cut these tabs off right now because I want it to be able to go back to stock in case he doesn't like it or whatever, dude. It's not my freaking kid. But he said I could do whatever I want to, so I like to do cool stuff only. Radical. So we gotta pull this down, boom. Check this out. Alrighty. Go in the hole, guy. All right. So you got the idea. All right, so now that this is angled, I need the body mount to lay flat. So what we're going to do is just break it. Just fold it until it breaks. Well, this one's not breaking. Great job, Josh. Great idea. What an amazing suggestion. Well, this plastic is obviously more flexible, dude. They fold all the way over. So I guess you could just fold it until it stays that way. And that would be good enough. There we go. We need something like that. Looking good, dude. So we can put that back in there. Like so. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll, we'll mark it. We need a mark for holes. I didn't do that. Here's one hole. Cool. Dude, I don't see the hole, guy. What were you pressing on? Oh, I see it. Hold on. All right, so we put some more holes in there. Same technique we used before. Just, just heated up the little pokey thing and poked it right on through where we had marked it. So we're going to now relocate our shocks Actually, before we do that, how about we stop? One second. All right, so we went ahead and spring modded that. I don't know that you can see it. I'm gonna go ahead and try to do one on camera now. I just wanted to see if I could even freaking do it. Never tried it with the stock shock. All right, so how do we spring mod? Probably the easiest way to use a thumbnail, a fingernail, go to the bottom. I don't know how well you can see this crap, dude. I don't know if it's zooming because I have to focus, dude. This stuff is tiny. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you pull it down past the spring seat. Boom, captured. You could even do two like that. Wow, now we got it really sagging. So, and then the goal here is to get it up past normally just your spring collar but we're actually trying to get one all the way up here because this spring collar does move. So anyways, we're gonna see how it goes, dude. It's kind of rough. I think you get the idea. You just you just find it, just pull it up, and you twist it. So it's really not anything to watch. There's not really a trick. You just have to do it. Sometimes you get it on the first one. Sometimes it takes 20. So I'm not gonna bore you with watching that. Yeah, not gonna bore you. All right, so we got the chassis sitting down quite a bit. Look at that, so we got just that. Still a little bouncy, but we'll see. We definitely got a little more flex. Definitely got a little more flex than before. Next up, dude, let's do the body. All right, well, I was just kidding. I don't know if you can see that. We got wheel weights. Track them out. Just press fit. These are uh, HR hot racing. Pretty cool. Got them at Hobby Town when I got my, uh, I don't know. They were the only thing there I could get for upgrades. They had nothing. So this is what I got. See, check it out. Pretty cool, dude. So if you were trying to keep more stock, man, look at that, dude weight and then we're also going to add a hex extension 
we're going to add a drop of Loctite, just like that. Bam! Put this guy on there. Boom! Put this guy on there. Chapow! There you go, dude. Now we looking mean. Yep, just like that. All right, using crevice as our template, we are gonna go ahead and start by removing most of the fenders. Most of the work was done with the scissors and then we'll finish everything off and get it to look like what we want with the Dremel tool. I don't have any cool, you know, leg sand scissors, so sorry, guy. Ugh. Man, this fender is tough. So we're gonna do that. It looks like we go across maybe like here, but I don't know. We're not going to open it up that much. Not going to open it up quite that much yet. Probably down. Let's go. Let's go down here. And we're going to aim up through here. Just miss this window. Something like that. Cut this corner off. Shoot. Bye bye, Julio. Wow. All right, dude. So you can get the idea. You use scissors, you cut, make cuts. We'll be back with the Dremel tool. All right, I have it marked. Just using a barrel grinder. Here, let's push that back in there. All right, that's looking pretty cool. So this is how I determine where it goes, right? For these tires, looking pretty good right there. And then we stand up, and we hit a little bit. So we need to take this line back farther. All right, that's pretty good. We're just gonna use a piece of sandpaper just to clean up all our lines. Make sure they're nice and smooth. No excess plastic or bumpiness, we want to be nice and clean. Sweet, something like that, dude. You know what I'm saying? Feel me, dog? Man, I hope y'all having a freaking great week. Doing good, man. Building something cool, getting out playing on the rocks. There you go, something like that, dude. We'll get it on there in just a second. We were hitting the frame rails when we turned, so we're gonna go ahead and cut those off. I went ahead and took the springs back off. Just using a cutoff wheel. Boom. Chapow! Here it is, dude. Oh, drive shaft. Here we go. Got it fixed. And while we're at it, I dremel out the inside of this, so let me swap bits and clean that out. All right, so check it out. The servo hits up in here. I don't know if the stock one will, but when we go to upgraded servo, it definitely will catch on these points. So we're just gonna round that off in there.
All right, so check it out. We're gonna put our ESC back here. The stock servo wire is too short. We're gonna put this on there. I don't know that this is really worth doing. We're probably just gonna have to replace the servo, but might as well show you how to do this, dude. So you could do this to lengthen, to shorten it, do whatever you wanna do. Here's how you solder, dude. So we're gonna cut that using our scissors. We're gonna spread it open, guy. Split the wires. Whoop. Dude, these wires are so tiny on the stock servo. Wow. So how to get this? We're just gonna use our scissors and we're just gonna barely grab it and grab it and then kind of let off the pressure and pull. Cause if we do any more than that, we're gonna remove wire. We don't wanna do that. So we just, just barely like, you're not even noticing that it goes in and then you pull it dude and it comes right off. These little wires are a pain in the butt to strip. If you try to use a knife, it's very easy to cut through the wire. Okay, dude. So we got our wires. Let's twist them up, twist them up, one more. Okay, dude, twisted. Dude, we got so twisted. So now, now you need a cool little third hand. By the way, they sell these things at uh, Harbor Freight. If you've never been to Harbor Freight, dude, and you're in this hobby, I don't know what your problem is, dude. They got the coolest crap, dude. Just little tiny stuff to do cool stuff, dude. Little tiny tools. You will pop a woody. Maybe not. Okay, dude. Sorry, off the screen. There we go, dude. So, we got our wires. Let's zoom in. Zooming, zooming, panning, rearranging. Okay, look. Right there, guy. Okay. All right, so we got our soldering iron. And our solder. Cool trick, dude. So, we need a solder puddle on our deal and then it will soak up into our wire super duper quick, super duper easy. Boom, look at that. There she goes, cruising right along, bro. Get all these guys hooked up, Oop, need more solder. Oh, you can't see that one. Whoa, there we go. Watch this guy, solder, solder, solder. Solder, solder, solder. Solder, solder, solder. Not the best job here, but you know what? It's okay, dude. We got it. Clean it up. Put a little more solder on there. Probably can't even see it very good, dude. Sorry. Okay, so, pause. All right, so we got our wires touching. We're just going to heat that up real quick. There it is. All right, there's one. Oh, by the way, if you need to know where, how it goes, you just get your head, the other head right there, and that's how your color code is. I've got another one. So brown to black on this one, red to red, and orange to white. All right, we got it in the jaws of life, dude. Just gonna touch him off. That's how it should be done. Make it easy, dude. Use the jaws of life, bro. I'm gonna touch that, both those off real quick with a little bit of more solder. Just a little more on that one. Okay. All right, dude, so again, this is just for, doesn't that look pretty? We're just getting it done. We just wanna seal up these wires. We're gonna use a little bit of super glue. And because our super glue gun is, our super glue, hot glue, our hot glue gun has been here on the table for a while. Our hot glue is freaking brown. So that's pretty rad. But that should be enough to seal us up right there. Ooh, doesn't that look pretty, dude? Doesn't that look pretty, bro? Wow. <laughs> you know what? It freaking works, dude. We're just trying to get this done and on the rocks. You know what, dude? Watch. All right, there we go, man. So we doing pretty good. We got a, a V2 ESC Velcro down to the top up here. We're about to go get our battery in and let's go freaking hit the rocks, dude. It's dark out. I had to stop to make dinner for the family, dude. Tacos, the only way to freaking roll, bro. Yeah. So, dude, let's go play on the rocks and see if we can do any better. 
All right, real quick, just so you can see, that's how we got the battery in, dude. Look at how much better that battery sits. Let's go, dude. This thing is gonna be rad. Let's go. All right, let's go, J. Lou, bro. Let's see this one. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Look, dude. We playing on the range, dude. We playing on the range. Come on, bro. Let's go. Uh-oh. 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 Let's go, J. Lou. Let's go, sorry. My bad. Let's go, J. Lou. Oh. Try it again. Here we go, dude. Easy money with a little bit of gas. All right, now we just gotta stay, stay centered on this thing a little bit. Oh, what in the heck? Try that again. Oh, look at, there we go, up. Oh my gosh, let's go. What are you doing? Right? It's so much different drivers than my cars, dude. Wow. Uh, so we still don't got that. I'm sure we got it, we're just not balancing up. But let's go back up here. Nice. Can we go up the side here? Oh, can we side? How, how does our side do? Let's check that out. We got this. No way we would have had that. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. That's why we take so much style, bro. That is why we take so much style. Let's see what we got over here. Come on. Falling in that hole. Well, let's just go, can we go up this? Oh my gosh. Wow. Let's go. Oh, okay, we went up this earlier. Tried to anyways, can we make it up this one? Looks like we're gonna make it, dude. Come on. <laughs> Dude, there's guys out here that with $300 cars that don't make it up there. Let's go. That's why we take so much style, bro. Dude, okay, we need a servo, so this is just dumb. Oh. Let's fix it. Come on, guy. Here we go. Here we go. Oh! Self right. Great job, dude. Okay, so obviously we're not like super duper awesome controlled, but if you watched the last video with Maximus, dude, let's go, bro. Let's go, bro. Come on, bro. Wow, are you kidding me? This is so good. If we had just a little bit more weight, maybe some just better rims, maybe we'll have to do that. Are you kidding me, dude? This is why we take so much style, dude. By the way, if you're new here, wow. If you're new here, this is called Texoma style, bro. Texoma style. That's how we roll, this is what we do. We make these SCX24s and maybe soon to be 
FCX24, we'll see. We make them perform to the best of the possibility, bro. Dude, look at, these were just mods. Like literally we added like, I think those maybe, I don't know. If they're 20 bucks, I'd be surprised. 20 bucks. Uh, oh, V2 Electronics. All right, so while we were waiting for the battery to charge on the gimbal, we went ahead and put on these soft crawler tires, rock tires from Enduro, the 56 millimeter tires. We have CI foams, crawler innovation foams, front and rear. That thing looks freaking tough. Let's go on the rocks, dude. Here we go, Texoma style on the range, dude. Here we go, let's run it up. Pretty freaking good. Let's see if we can go up this one. Now, I'm asking a lot for a car that doesn't have overdrive to go up that one. We're not going to do it. We'll go up here. Wow, bro. Climbs like a spider already. Why? Freaking Texoma style, baby. Go, buddy. Can we crawl it? Uh, nope. Just need a little momentum, dude. Just need a little momentum, guy. Look at that, bro. Come on. Freaking badass, dude. <laughs> Let's go. Texoma style, baby. This thing is so good. Oh my gosh. I might have to buy it for Mike, dude. I might just have to buy another one and start over. Gee whiz, dude. In the hole. Oh, push it up. There we go. Loose rock section, dude. Freaking tear it up. Here we go. Can we go up through the little V right there? Oh, yeah, dude. Come on. Come on, guy. Let's go, J. Lou. Oh, yeah. Freaking J. Lou. Just got to be used to it. It's still the 030 motor, dude, so it takes a lot of power to get up some of these things. You got to back it off. Wow. Let's go, J. Lou. This thing is badass, dude. Come on, freaking charge your phone guy. Come on, bro. Oh, there we go. It's okay. So Maximus on it as way to uh let's go. Maximus is on his way to Joe at the Exoplex on Exocage channel. RC Exocaged RC dude. Freaking check him out. Look at this thing go, bro. Come on, come on. Wow, wow. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? That's that text almost style, bro. Come on, let's go, J. Lou. Oh my gosh, J. Lou, bro, he's so good. <laughs> Little J. Lou, bro. I cannot believe how good this thing is. Let's go, buddy. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. We on the wheels. Look at that, dude. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Obviously, it's not like our best rig, but literally, I got 60 bucks worth of parts. It's just Texoma style mods. 
and I could still add, like I said, we could we could dampen the shocks. Uh, we we'll have to do that. We should have done it, dude, while they were off. I just did not do it. I'm sorry. We got this, dude. That's a tough one without the overdrive. Uh, can we just make it up the other side? Let's just make it through the section, bro. Ah, don't let it win. We could do it, dude. We could do it, bro. Come on. Yes, yes, dude. Look at this thing, dude. Mostly good, mostly good, mostly good. Come on, guy. Uh. Look at him go, dude. Oh my gosh, J. Lou, bro. Bridge is no way behind you, dude. You just lo locks the rocks. Go for some overdrive right about now, guy. Oh, <laughs> that's gonna do it for this one, folks. I sure do appreciate you watching. If you're still here and you're not subscribed, please help me out, dude. I got a goal. We gotta reach a thousand subs, one thousand scrub subs. A couple more days, dude. I need like 50. Hook a brother up, man. Hope y'all have a great week. Peace.